now so that <coughs> now that we have created our uh, listings it's time to move on to registration user account etc so first we'll open our terminal and then stop this for now and we're going to start an app called accounts so python manage app account accounts Okay, that's done. So I'll just register it. And I'll include its URLs too. So, path accounts slash include. Of URLs. And let's go create our URLs.py file for that. So URLs, URLs.py and from Django, Django dot from Django dot URLs import path and we will see import of views so from from dot import views let's meet our yarn patterns we will only add the register for now so register slash views dot register and we will give the name as register set right now that's set up, let's go to views.py uh, Yeah, render So, as I said before in my uh, introduction video We will be creating a registration profile, registration So that when the user uh, tries to register An email will be sent to his email id Through which he is trying to register With the confirmation code, basically is act asking you to confirm this is your email id so once it's done and uh, it, he will get the confirmation code and he will, uh, he will use that confirmation code to confirm it's he has the your email id is correct and once he enters it and registers his account will be saved so for that we are gonna have to create a random string so I'm going to import random right now. Import random, and I want to import string. Now this is to uh, create our random string, which will be our confirmation code. So I'm going to define a function called random string. Uh, I'm going to give a string length as six characters. That should be enough. And I'm going to say letters I'm going to give it a string dot ask key letters uh, if you want you can make it string dot ask key lowercase or uppercase but I think I'll go with letters and I'm going to return uh, dot join random of choice random dot choice of letters uh, for six we are giving for six times so for uh, i in range string length so basically what this is what this does it will create a string of six letters and this is going to choose from uh, uh, this pack string dot ascii dot letters so random of those so if you want now let's call this function and I'm gonna give it code. I'll just say confirmation code and no let's give it code. Code is called a random of string. Now let's create our register view so the register we wanna have the parameter request and 
I'm going to make a method f method is equal to equal to post. This should be for request or method. So f dot method equal to equal to post. For now, I'm going to do nothing. So I'll just say pass. Else we are going to run tower. Else we are going to run tower or file. That is our template. So return should be return render our request. And so now uh, we have created templates in accounts register.html. Save it. And uh, let's go to our templates in folder accounts. File it. And it will be registered on this channel. And this tool will inherit from this. So, extends this dot html. And we'll put the title of block. Title, we will give it the registers. So, register and enter. And block. And let's create a content block. So, block content. And So from resources we will get our register. From here we don't want a box, so let's do that. Okay, so copy. Paste it. Is. Paste it. Attach first name, last name, username, password. We also give the phone number. So phone. It will be in picture. So basically text set. So we want plus nine one so it will be text. Everything is required. From password anything in our models, nothing else. Code construct UI we have to be not the phone sectors that I found. So I'll save it as run our server by turn and manage it. Divide run server. So slash accounts. So so we have first name, last name, username, email, phone, password, password, phone, phone, password, done. Now let's uh, go to now bar and add our register function to this. So here it is. So percent URL register. Save it. And let's close it. This is done. So, right, and if, okay, let's continue with our method. So, if the custard method equal to the post, we're going to say first name is equal to request dot post first underscore name. And I'll just copy, we have first name, last name, username. Email, password on, password two, and phone number. So we also gonna have to import uh, our user. So I'm gonna say from for the models import user. 
Now before it used to be from django.contrib.org models, but we are using custom made user, so we will import .models. and we will also import uh, login required. I know that we put that to later, so we will import our send mail function. So from Django. We will import send. Right, uh, before we can use the send mail function, we had to do set it up in the cities.py, which I will get back to it later on. So, let's make this last name. This will be our username. This will be our email, phone, uh, password, password two. Now normally it will be password one and password two, but here we are giving it as password two and password. So that's it. Now we'll have to check certain conditions. And uh, I'm gonna say user user, we want to take the model user. And right now I'll give the context blank. I'll tell you why we need context. So uh, let's leave that blank for now. I'm gonna check if password equal to equal to password 2 then we will check for our username permission so if user dot objects dot filter username equal to username and we are going to check this exit so we are going to use function access so, because it's only being built in Django, so you don't have to worry about that. If it exists, uh, we are going to redirect to our register page. So, return redirect to register. Now, for that, uh, when we redirect to the register page, we should uh, be able to tell the user why he was redirected, what was the error. So, that we are going to import a function from which is an inbuilt feature of Django that is messages we just have to import it from uh, from django.contrib import messages we also have to print the setting it's already there so that's fine uh, so here we want to say what our message was so messages dot error and you must say request from a username is already taken and we have to display it here also so I'll display it somewhere right on for displaying it we'll create a partial called alerts I'm going to create a partial let's say new file alerts dot html so I'm going to say if there are any messages so if messages and we want to say we want to check how many messages are there so if there are like a lot of messages you want to say for message in uh, messages and let's create our messages function so we'll give it in a div and I'll give the id as message and I'll give the class of container and we'll create another div
active and uh, have a class as alert it's a bootstrap uh, css property and i'll give the alert as message tag so message dot tags if it is error it will say alert error if it is success it will say alert success and this should be dismissible so alert and uh, this Missable and we put as text center so text center and the role is alert so of course the role is equal to alert close it and it's we will give it a type of strong strong if it is an error message so if if message dot level is equal to default underscore message underscore underscore level dot error basically it means if the level of the message is an error we're gonna say error error and whatever the message is here and else We are going to give a message tag. Every subject is going to be success. So, this is a warning to this warning. So, message dot tag. So, we give it as a title. So, title. And we are end it here. So, end it. And we will end our four. Send four. And also begin so I think your alerts are down so I think we will include our alerts here so it's the person include partial slash on this for alerts dot and this since this is a form we are and it's related to authentication we have to keep this yes rf token otherwise django will display an error so csrf token and i think that's it for our rest.html and and we will uh, go to settings.py and configure our uh, messages let's see set up py i'll go to the end and i just configure my message so i'll import messages so um change dot contrib dot messages import constants as messages and i'm going to give the message tags the and we'll define the error and success so we say facts to to messages start error i'm going to give the tag danger so basically alert danger the red alert success it will display in a screen so messages start success success And that's our CV struct PY. We can redirect the register. Put password equal to get password 2. Right, so message is declared. And now if, if the user is not there, so we will define if user for email. So if user dot objects dot filter we take email equal to email dot access and again we give the message so copy or paste so actually email already used Again, else 
and this time we'll check if phone number is taken so you said that let's check our models first of all uh, the phone should be unique so you have to check for that too so if you said that for check start here is the phone equal to phone dot access Texas will display the error message again. This time, phone number already used. Now, none of this condition exists, so this is uh, we will just send the mail, we send the confirmation mail. So, I think I set this up. So, first line would be our subject. So Account creation confirmation. Then uh, our message. So I'll say hi. His first name. What are you typing? So first name. You will say your confirmation code. is plus code and whom should we send it to so email this would the sender email whom we are sending into so receiver email and we don't want it to fail its silency if it fails you want to be notified so now we if you give this true, we will not be notified. If you give it false, you will be notified that uh, the message we are trying to send is the whom the person whom we are trying to send the message, the email address does not exist. So, for production purpose, I suggest using this true, but right now uh, make it false. So, we will find. Um, so as I said earlier, we're gonna, you know, check it, uh, check if the confirmation code is actually the uh, code we are gonna use. If this code is equal to the conf if the confirmation code here in Gers is equal to the code which we sent. For that, the only way I found is to create two views. One is register view and one is confirmation view. So right now I have to return this as return the method equal to get so basically when we go to our confirm register view we don't that we won't directly go to the post so it's a return then the quest accounts slash confirm register dot html and we'll pass our context now we want all this to be there in our second uh, confirm register view so when we save it this all gets saved so basically we are going to say first name first name so let's copy paste 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 so last name and email username uh, phone you don't use passwords I think only one password is that's so why we one password so password so we have first name, last name, username, email and password. So this is required. Right. Now time for our else. So if it's there. For this we didn't create an else method, so we're gonna create that now. One, two, three, four. Else you say passwords 
Let me see this. Draw. Request. Account. Is the passwords do not match? So passwords do not match. And we will return the direct uh, register page. So return the direct register. And let's check it out. Uh, the email won't work right now, but uh, it's simply the password and everything works. Let's check it to Matthew. We can use Matthew. The pairs. And let's type it 123 and say 321. Um, Alright, I think I misspelled that. That's the same action. Yes. Alright, the problem is we are given action or we have to make it to our registers. That was my mistake. So, you are a register. And this should have a method for some method equal to post. Now let's check it. One, two, three, three, two, one. Multi value dict error. Let's see, these are four. This is a problem. This should be four. My error. Oh, I forgot to import redirect. So, then that come on. Redirect, redirect is part of dot test itself. So, hmm. Okay, I think there's something problem with our alerts. Messages. Uh, messages at alerts. Messages. Oh, it's secret levels. And we'll just take it out. Okay, we are getting an error, but the message is not being displayed. Right, I forgot to import message. Passwords do not match. So we'll check our username, which took. So it's set mass this time, so username is already taken, it works. So the same username, I think the email ID is same. I'll just confirm it. Customer is selling gmail.com and register. Email is already taken. Let's see if the phone works. Yes, let's see. Stop. Oh, my bad. My stop. Got the password wrong. Phone number is already used. So, our functions are working properly. Now let's 
go to our gears.py and we are gonna create a path for extra confirmation so we'll just uh, slash confirm new start register confirm and I'm gonna give the name as register say confirm register so it should be confirm registration but I'm gonna start my as confirm register so um, let's create a confirm instruction so that's that's Confirm. Uh, this so we want to take a request, and we'll say okay for request dot method. Go to go to post. Then uh, same thing. We just retrieve all this. Yes, we want this to be copy. Yes, now we want to check if this code uh, we want to retrieve one more. This one gonna be also true, but code this will be our request start confirm code basically confirmation code if code. Equal to that's what we did, right? So, so code is equal to equal to we can do it in this one. Okay. 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 Then here's state user. So user dot user equal to user dot object start create user with user name equal to user name and password equal to password name equal to email phone equal to phone first name equal to first name and last to last name and we'll save them for user dot save and we'll log in the requested user so login if you want this is not a necessary step but let's make the login so login new request we have to import login first but uh, i'll go to later request start user and uh, we will say messages start Success. So request. So you are not log in, and we will redirect him. So return redirect. We will redirect him to my home page, so index page, and if. The code is not the same. You say message start error request and invalid code. So invalid confirmation code. So you return him. So return then the request accounts. One from register dot html. It's so html and we'll pass in the context. And if the method is not first, we will turn him to our register page. So return redirect. And you might be wondering uh, why we are returning him to our register page. It's because we don't want him to get into confirm register by typing it into our header. Uh, I'll just show it to you. 
sulfide type discharge it should work hmm. right my right let's just write this should be from the step okay now it works now if a user tries to take him uh, directly go to our confirm page we don't want that to happen see it redirects us back to our register page no matter what the only possible way for him to register is using our register page now one more there's one more last small step you have to hit our confirm register dot html and just copy it um, new file page dot html we copy the entire thing so copy paste now you might be wondering why i'm doing this because uh we want him to see me we want him to confirm it uh we don't want to confirm password so i'll just use it and uh, so this should be read only not required so you see he will not be able to edit it and we are going to hint you in the value of Uh, his first name so first underscore just copy it so copy paste 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 so uh, his last name so last name username is email yes phone this password to have a confirmation code so your confirmation code so confirmation code and <coughs> this will be confirmed code just copy it and paste it <coughs> this is required. This is not And this should not go to our register, but to our confirm register. Let's check. Let's go to the confirm register. Save it. Now the last thing that is left <coughs> is our sending mail. So we have to set that up in our settings. So all you have to do, uh, we have to declare who the email host is, who, which port number to use, etc. Now, so we are gonna host it in Gmail. So email host to the Gmail. So smtp dot gmail dot com, and our port we are gonna use is email first email to call code that is 587 and the host user user is I'm gonna give my email id so let's do it first email to 7 gmail.com and for you guys I think you should give your email id and not mine be careful about that and I'm gonna give the host the password. Now the password for this is not your Gmail's password. And how to get that password is basically by going to accounts.google.com and you see in security there's an option for uh, app passwords. Uh, I'll just log in. So. You see, uh, I'll create a new app for a uh, yes. So,
right so ps my generate an app uh, this is my password don't know if you guys are related by the time on the video is done so and this use it save it and copy paste it here and we want the email to use tls so email use tls is equal to true think that should be it so shall we try it out let's uh, see it's always running it's always running so i'll close all this so i'm going to create a new user just to met you i'm going to give a new username to stow i'm going to call it time equals to n i can't give the same phone number so give some the random number so three four five and just three and two and i'll give it to be my different email id i want to type in my password again and register it seems uh, right uh, we forgot to add from where we are sending the emails so it should be our emails so that is seven so it's gmail.com now it should work basically this is our uh, subject message from whom we are sending that is the center the receiver and if the message should if a error occurs should it get silently that means a return message should come or not basically in gmail when you are sending a message and if you have written the wrong uh, email id you will get a message saying the email id was wrong or this email does not exist so if this should come or not by saying fail sign equal to that message won't come and now i'll just check it out okay reload it save let's make it m i'll save crystal for my second email id this I'll tag one two three one two three one two three one. So that's the thing is loading. That means sent. As you can see, we can't detect any of this. And let's go check my different email. So gmail dot com. As you can see, this can be seven, seven, ten email. Confirm account creation confirmation. Hi, Christo. Your confirmation code is ten W Z Z K M. And as I said uh, in my special code, if you type, if you want only lowercase, you just have to say ASCII lower. If you want only uppercase, you just have to say ASCII uppercase lowercase. So I'll just copy this. Copy. As you can see, it's six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Paste it. Register. Login is not defined. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> As I was telling you, you have to import login, and I myself forgot. So I'll just say from Django dot on trip dot port import login. But our account should have been created. Let's check it out. Yep, it was created. As you can see, it was still number saved. You can save with a staff. Uh, he he has not logged in yet because our login was denied, and so no, he did not. The account was not logged in yet, so I'll just delete it and recheck it. Our login works. It should work. Yeah. So I'll just delete this. I'm sure. One, two, three. 
I'm going to the cute one. Look for my passport. This car. And we need to pump pump it's turn out to this thing. Don't disable this. Make it only read only. Disabling it will not work. I'll try this. And our second coach will come. You can use the it will be a different one this time. As you can see, the different one. Copy, paste, register. Yeah, it's an unlock pin. Uh, the message is not displayed because I forgot to include the colors in our index which I do now so just take our uh, just copy this and just go to index artist here and display it above by answers so save it now the alerts would be displayed now if I try to log in again it will say I am not authenticated it says you are authenticated as Christo but are not authorized to access this page so basically it means uh, user creation was successful if you want to see it I just log in using my method ID here it is the ID is different because we deleted our user account with ID 3 so this time it will be different ID so you don't have to worry about all this so as you can see everything is done you can see the last login was today now uh, it says 14.01.52 because I'm using UTC timing and if you add 5.5 hours it will be 7.33 anyways there's nothing to do uh, that's it so we have finished our registration and I'll just go to navbar and add the register it's done so basically here is the phone tool so that's it guys for our registration and in my next video we will do the login and yeah after that we will start with our inquiries so that's it thank you guys for watching see you in my next video